welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're talking about github actions so in the previous video on argo cd i gave you an introduction to what is like you know ci cd and all these other things and we saw a little bit of a demo as well and in this video we're going to build on top of it and just learn more about uh, you know other tools like github actions so the the documentation for this is pretty pretty amazing uh, i'll be walking through that and showing some of the examples and i'll also show you uh, an example with the kubescape where you can uh, scan your yaml files for vulnerabilities so basically uh, as you can see over here in the documentation it says that you can automate and customize and execute your software development workflows right in your repository with github actions okay so for example in simpler terms like um, you 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 know about uh, git because you know i did a video on that you can learn more about it you know about yaml files i did a video on that as well so let's say what happens is that you are trying to uh, you make some changes in your project and you push your changes and you push that uh, change on github uh, on the branch okay you push that now you want something to happen you want to make sure that the new code that you have added does not break this existing code you want some checks to run whenever you let's say push a branch or something or you open a pull request you want some checks to run so in big open source projects you may have seen that whenever you submit a pr um, some checks start running be that you're using jenkins or circle ci or travis or github actions whatever right we'll be seeing we'll be seeing other tools uh, swing uh cristiano ronaldo <laughs> meme. anyway uh we'll be seeing the uh you know the github actions uh one in this video and in the future ones we'll be seeing like how circle ci's and everything work it's nothing complicated that's basically what it's doing some sort of like events you want to trigger some actions that's it event can be opening a new pr and then some action can be running a script running a test or doing some some other work as simple as that okay if i go to a quick start here you can see something okay here you can see the steps so this is nothing it's pretty straightforward so if i have a if i have a demo file over here and i just say git in it okay so now i have a git file in it okay so it's saying that in the dot github slash workflows directory um we don't have that one right now we have only dot git so i can say mk dir dot github mk dir workflows and inside the workflow i can create this file github actions demo dot yaml touch dot github slash workflows github action demo dot yaml okay you can copy this and i can go to vim work workflows see what's inside that there we have it so this is what the file contains this is what the file contains so this is a yaml file here you can see there are three entries this is a name entry on entry and jobs entry what is this name on and job this entire file is called a workflow this entire file is called a workflow and these are the jobs that we are running these are the jobs that we are running when a particular event occurs so now i have said too many words i have said words like workflow job events so many things okay so that is basically what is happening and uh, if you want to learn more about we can go to github actions and here you can see so this basically is the component of like the github action this entire thing a workflow an event will occur so an event will occur an event can basically means that a specific activity in the repository for example in this case it's push very simple so whenever someone pushes this particular thing will happen no problem okay so that is about events so whenever some event happens it will go to the runner now what is a runner runner is basically a server so as you can see a runner is a server that will run your workflows when they are triggered so okay so github provides ubuntu linux and microsoft windows and mac os runners to run your workflows okay so each of these is like a newly provisional uh, provisioned virtual machine 
and it's uh, you can also host your own runners but for now we're using the one that github does so in job i'm just giving this a name and it's saying runs on which runner ubuntu latest server this is a server okay you can also add your own but for simplicity purpose i'm just doing it whatever github provides now the steps that's the next thing okay so these are like the uh, things that are happening the jobs so a job is a set of steps in a workflow that execute in the same runner these will run one by one so this entire thing will be a job containing oops 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 containing various steps so you can see this is just an echo command and st stuff like that every single step like that okay so this entire thing is a job is a, a set of steps in the workflow okay so this job with a set of st steps right this is one job which is this one this is just one single job it has it has uh, steps in it this entire thing is called a workflow and uh, this is the name of the workflow this is the event and these are the jobs and this is the server that's it <laughs> that's it okay so you can configure the jobs dependencies with other jobs and all these other things but we'll go into that like later on okay so we learned about workflows we learned about events we learned about jobs okay so now we saw the definition we saw also saw like the nice little diagram about how it works here you can see event on push a runner on this and the job is this and every job has a number of steps that's it okay this uses tag is basically if you want to use other actions which we'll talk more about later on don't worry about it okay so here you can see the uses keyword specifies that this this step will run the uh, version 3 of actions checkout action so if you want to use another action in the you know um, your current action then you can uh, do that as well okay so as you can see this is an action that checks out on your repository onto the runner allowing you to run scripts or other actions against your code okay so you can check out actions like that but um, back to our example we have created a simple you know simple uh, job uh, simple uh, workflow over here and uh, now it's saying that scroll and uh, create a new branch and make a new commit or whatever okay no problem i can do that build status right now i can maybe hello.txt or something get add hello.txt get commit minus m initial commit okay and then i can say git push origin oh one second i i would have to create a github repository obviously let's do that as well okay so i'm going to go to github.com and i'm just going to create a new repository i'm going to call it github actions demo just going to copy this and say git remote add origin if you're not aware of these commands um then you can just you know check the um uh, github tutorial i did created a hello.txt over here and added the commit in it um i can just show it to you again just remove this and um you know i create let's say another file and say touch let's say names.txt for example okay and now if i do get status these are all the new files this uh, is a this i can use something like git ignore but um, you know for the extra files like ds store it's like some mac file but no worries you can use git ignore for that git status okay so these are all the files that i have now what i'm going to do is all the changes i'm just going to say git add dot git commit added files git push origin main again if you're not aware of these commands check out the links you know on of my check out the github tutorial i did i'm just going to refresh this and here you can see i have my added files in the actions i can see github actions demo this is the one that we have Okay, as you can see, it's starting the job, it's running it. 
waiting for the runner to pick up this job so that we have specified ubuntu about to start and everything so you can see it ran all these things why did it run it because we actually pushed our changes these were pushed if i just let's say run it again if i push some changes so i just add kunal kushwaha in it if i push the change either i comment directly or add a new branch i can add a new branch i make a pr and push these changes these changes are pushed create a pr so it will run the github actions so you can see github action is running it's currently running this is what happens in the real world when you make a pr change when you push some changes so if i check it out again dot github workflows like this so it's saying whenever kunal pushes this particular workflow github actions demo that is correct github actions demo details this will run every time you push something name this entire thing is a workflow this is the name of the workflow these are the events and you can also you can also specify branches over here so you can go to like learn more using workflows triggering a workflow and everything you can check it out over here you can go to events as well one second over here you can see events okay so on issues type opened so on the open issues it will run these jobs and whatever all right so here you can basically check out the events using a single event you can use multiple events if you want on every push and every fork it will run the jobs okay you can use filters as well you can add specific branches only for branch main and all the release branches so many things you can do now in this i explained you the basic concept but now you can you can go through all of these things and learn more about it because it's a great documentation i would have to you know uh share about it so that's what i always say and it's also running the these in uh, in order so if you go to the see set up a job then run and echo and all these other things and in this particular one you say that it's saying this particular job name is list files in the repository and it's running this command so it's running the list command on the github.workspace so it's running the list command list the files in repository it should list all the files in my repository names.txt that is correct that is correct it has names.txt in it and this was replaced so ls this particular thing it is being replaced this is sort of like the environment okay this is the environment or github dot workspace okay you can learn more about these environments over here in the in the documentation using jobs and using environment for jobs you can learn more about it over here right something like this is what it's using as well okay job dot status that will also give you some environment Cool, but we'll cover more of these advanced topics like concurrency and containers and all these other things in the later videos. So here you can see that's basically about the GitHub Actions part. If you go to Actions and you want to create your own new workflow, gives you some nice templates also, right? Sound good? Awesome. Let's create one for. Uh, so I did a video on Cubescape. Let me just show you. If you go to Playlist section, and if you go to the complete uh, like the DevOps Bootcamp. Here we did a video on securing your Kubernetes clusters with, with Kubescape. So in the DevOps Bootcamp, it's as a part, we're doing this amazing series of like tools. And this has been a great uh, you know, addition to my list of tools, uh, specifically when it comes to Kubernetes security. So I highly recommend, you know, it's a 30 minute long video. I've covered so many things in it and uh, configuration scanning and image scanning and all these other things I've covered. So make sure you check out this as well in this playlist. But now let's see how we can integrate this into GitHub Actions. Okay, what I'm going to do is, first of all, it's going to scan for like vulnerabilities in YAML files. I'll just create a deployment.yaml. Okay, and I'm going to say just some random deployment file. Okay, and now I need to create a GitHub action for this. So I'm going to say touch in GitHub, sorry, a GitHub workflow, action workflow. I'm going to create this one called Cubescape demo.yaml okay i'm gonna oops 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 
cubescapedemo.yaml. Okay, let's see what will go inside this. Okay, so again, the three tags, name, on, and jobs. Name is just cubescape. On means push. And I've also added some like filters on it. So on the push like branches. Or if you make PRs on like branches, which is you know on the main one. And here the jobs is the NSA security check. Okay, so the steps it's taking it obviously is that obviously first you need to install like uh, cubescape as well. And uh, it's uh, checking out like, uh, you know, the other actions uh, over here, like we saw in the previous uh, documentation about, uh, you know, the checkout part, it's, it runs on Ubuntu latest, this is like our server, and it's installing cubescape. So as you can see, it's just installing cubescape, just a simple cubescape command, it's going to run this command and install cubescape for us. And then it's going to run this simple cubescape, uh, you know, command to scan or all, all your uh, YAML files, star means like a generic all the files that end with .yaml will be scanned and uh, that's basically about it let's try to run it so if you're unaware of this particular thing and this particular thing please check out my cubescape video i did uh, i did a video on that so what i am going to do now is git status i'm going to say git add dot git commit minus m i'm going to say cubescape git push origin main let's try to see so here you can see in our actions uh, cubescape one is running if i go to normal ones over here in the github actions itself cubescape is running and let's see how it happens okay one is running Q github uh, explore github actions and second one is nsc security check because explore github actions also had the push command a push event in it so setting up a job checking out installing cubescape right it ran all the other all the things you know that we were uh, trying to do okay and uh, installing cubescape simple exactly the, you know the same stuff that happens when we were doing the cubescape tutorial and here you can see it actually ran failed six and total 14 this is a severity and everything is available over here post checkout there we go so it's running these uh, these checks uh, now in our uh, GitHub Actions. We are able to scan for uh, Kubernetes security vulnerabilities. How cool is that? Cool. And with Kubescape, uh, there's one more thing I want to mention is uh, that, um, you know, if you want to make sure that at least 80% of the, the objects in your, uh, the, the files that you have provided are passing, then you can add a, add a tag for that as well. So you can go over here and you can do something like um, you can say, let's say 80. Okay, so this will basically return failure in a case that the results will be less than 80%. Cool. So this was about like YAML files, but uh, if you want to scan like your entire cluster, so in some cases you would want to like scan the entire cluster after you have run the new YAML file, you made some changes in your YAML file made those changes and then you want to uh, run the check of uh, Kubernetes uh, like for, for scanning uh, security issues on the entire cluster and uh, you know if you're new to Kubernetes or you know Kubescape I'm seeing it again and again uh, please check out the videos I've done I've done entirely on Kubernetes as well Kubescape and Q security best practices so much content is already available uh, you, it's up to you you know you, you'd have to watch and uh, learn from it and other resources as well that we keep on sharing but coming back to the topic you can you can stand your you can scan your entire cluster as well you can uh, run this you know command for that like we had previously and you can say exclude namespaces uh, the namespaces you can just exclude the ones that are you know by the default one which are the ones like cube system and we have the cube public cool so you can run this one and uh, it's going to scan your uh, you know entire cluster as well which i believe is uh, you know also pretty cool so you can add like cluster scans uh, inside your uh, github actions as well in this uh, this particular workflow that is how you can how, how you can do that awesome now you can uh, you know explore all the other features that it has to offer how you can send alerts and packages and uh, you know deployments and building testing so many other things so many examples are given uh, feel free to explore and we'll be doing more and more videos around uh, some of the advanced topics but i wanted to keep this one focused on uh, you know such some beginner friendly uh, 
issues only and i showed you like a real world example as well with cubescape and uh, i'll be doing more videos with like other tools uh, shortly but uh, thanks a lot for watching and uh, the next part you know is after watching this video explore the documentation and try it out on your own hands on experience is very important okay you will get stuck and then you will learn about it and you'll google and you'll stack overflow it's pretty important okay so check out my cubescape tutorial check out the links in the description check out the complete house bootcamp playlist and i'll see you in the next one have a great day